everybody welcome to my budapest vlog i really really hope you enjoy this one this is obviously the first holiday vlog that i'm filming so i'm really really excited it is currently about 4 45 a.m i've been awake for about an hour i feel really tired excuse my appearance I probably sound like a man i haven't really had much sleep but i'm excited so i don't really care and um, we're just about to leave to go to the airport literally about 10 minutes um so yeah, we're finally going to Budapest and I'm so excited. So I'm sure I'll get some questions about Budapest, like the rules and stuff. So I'll quickly just say now whilst I'm still here and I still remember, um, you don't need to be vaccinated to go to Budapest. You don't need to do any tests if you're vaccinated or if you're not. Everything has been dropped. There's no COVID tests to do. There's no forms to fill out. There's absolutely nothing. It's basically like before COVID. Um, so yeah, just to put that out there in case anybody was wondering and i actually think there's no like no face mask i think they've dropped everything from the 7th of march so basically it's like normal again um so yeah anyways i really hope you enjoy it i'm gonna go to the airport now and i will update you all soon hi everyone so we are in our apartment now we've already been to aldi's it's literally an aldi's a two minute walk away just down the road i'm gonna do a little apartment tour so you can see what it looks like um, but i'll just show you what the outside looks like as well so it's basically like flats here and then here you've got like a little place to sit which i think is really really nice and then you walk through i'll show you and here it's really random so you've got a washing machine where the bath is but this is the bathroom and the ceilings are literally so high nice little mirror and then here is the toilet And you can turn that off. So then here, this is where you walk in. Really, really big doors. And then you walk straight through. And well, there's the kitchen. Nice little kitchen. And here is, I've got the light on. Here, so you've got the bed. And then you've got like the living space. Sorry, we've put all our stuff down. We need to unpack still, but it's so big. I don't know if it's showing up how big it is, but it is literally so spacious. And then from here is the view where I just showed you out there is where you can see it. So yeah, this is our home for the next four days. Good morning. Yeah, it's a new day. I didn't film anything yesterday. Let me explain. So I booked what I thought was the Hard Rock restaurant, but apparently there's a Hard Rock hotel and there's a Hard Rock cafe and I booked the Hard Rock restaurant inside the hotel so it was a normal restaurant inside the hard rock so it was a fail like the first of all it was torrential rains there was not a soul there i literally felt so embarrassed um so yeah that was a really big fail and i felt really bad because obviously that was for my boyfriend's birthday and it was just yeah it it was a i, I fucked up basically um but it's okay it's a new day it's a new day, but forget about that one now. And today we're really excited. We're going to go to St. Stephen's Basilica, the Hungarian Parliament building. Um, I think we're going to go on a river cruise tonight or tomorrow because we've still got two nights left. And oh, the one more. And there's like a river which has all Jewish shoes from back in the war. So we're also going to go there. So I will take you um, along for that. But yeah, I just wanted to come and explain about that. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog because this will be a little more interesting now um because we'll be doing more things so we just come to the top of the st stephen's basilica oh my god the views are amazing look at this i want to go on that ferris wheel later i think it's so nice so i would definitely recommend coming right to the top you have to pay for um i think it's called the lookout So, what did she tell you? Sure. we just left St. Stephen's Basilica. I think it depends what sort of things that you like. Churches and stuff. I thought it was very pretty, but I didn't really... Everyone really hyped up St. Stephen's Basilica. I thought it was a really stunning church. And obviously, we've got the lookout thing as well, which was really nice to go up to the top. But we're going to go to the Hungarian Parliament building, because apparently that's supposed to be really nice. So, now we're at 
the Hungarian Parliament building. I actually want to go, I think you can go inside. Can you go inside? I oh, know you can't go inside, can you? Obviously. Obviously you can't go in. Um, so did people just come and stand, stand outside here? No, they go inside. Okay, now we're going to walk to the, but this is what the little, um, little metros look like, or the trams. Now I'm going to go walk to the Jewish Donobus River, basically where all the food goes made, all the Jewish um, shoes are apparently from the sad. But I really am interested in things to do with the war. When I went to Poland and Krakow, we went to Auschwitz, that was really interesting and really sad though. But yes, we can go there now because it's not too far from here, but I thought I'd show you what the parliament building looks like. So I think this is the actual parliament. I don't, I don't think we was at the right place. It's one building above, what are you talking about? Because that must be the entrance. I think this is the entrance. So I think that's where it, that's the start of it. And then this is like the walk to the river. So we've come to the river. Oh, there's the shoes. The shoes are down there. Um, this is the Donibus River, I might be pronouncing that wrong. But we want to get a river cruise. I think they're the river cruises over there. So this is all the shoes that we like. It's actually really sad. Do you think about it? This is what people wore on their feet. And all that awful stuff was happening. So I don't know what you think he's doing. Do you think you're going for a swim? I don't know what you're doing. What are you doing? Do you think I want to end up in the Hungarian hospital today? Stop! <laughs> Just come back. Right. So we've come on the Ferris wheel. I actually right. really don't like rides, but it's not going it's to. Not it is a ride, and I just feel a bit scared because it feels like it's going up, you know? Well, it is going up. And I just don't really like rides, but I'll show you the view. Like me, you'll never catch me in Fort Park. Like, it's a complete waste of money because I just won't go on anything. I'm the girl that holds the bags. Right, look at the view. It's lovely. Oh, it's so, it's fucking rocking. I don't like the rocking of this a bit. Oh my goodness. I've relaxed a bit now on the Ferris wheel. It's not that bad. Do you know what it is? I just think it's the thought of being out of, of, being out of control because it's like up high. I don't like planes. I know, I like planes. I love planes, but there's something about rides I don't like. But the views are so nice. Whilst we're here, talk about prices. So this costs three thousand Hungarian money each, pound each. But I don't, I'm trying to work out what that is in actual pounds because that's not in that's not in pounds. Because everyone says it's basically everybody says Hungary is really really cheap. So I've been like working it all out, but I don't actually see the, like the difference. I think it's not that much cheaper than London. I don't think. Drink. Yeah, maybe it's alcohol. I've not had that yet. I'll let you know about that later because we're going to go to a um, sports bar to watch the football. Hi guys, so I've literally just come out on my own because my boyfriend's gone to the gym quickly because we've got one like a five minute walk away. Um, and I've come to the, oh, what is it called? The Jewish Memorial. Well, I'm walking there now. I actually really enjoy city breaks because I feel like you come for like two, three, four days and because you technically don't have loads of time, you get so much done. But yeah, I'll take you in um, to the Jewish Memorial Center, see what it's like. Hi guys, so it's a little bit dark in here. Um, the lighting's probably a little bit funny. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to film in here, so I'm probably not gonna record in this little bit, but it's basically just, you know, like when you go into sort of like a museum and it's got different parts, like different facts and stuff, different pictures and you sort of read about the history about um, the war and what happened to the Jewish in Hungary. So it's quite good. I'll link everything in the description anyway, in case any of you would like to go. Um, but yeah, I'll try and film as much as what I can. Hello, so I'm home. I popped into Aldi's um, on the way back from the, what was it called? The museum. It was really, really good. I honestly really enjoyed it. 
um, and it was really interesting. It was very sad, I'd like to read all of the things. Um, but it was really, really interesting. So I would definitely recommend it. I popped into Aldi's on the way home just to get a bit of water and just like a couple little bits like that. And the plan for tonight, so it is, what's the time? Five o'clock, no, yeah, five o'clock. Um, gonna have something to eat. We're gonna go to a sports bar because my boyfriend wants to watch um, Man U and Chelsea, I'm gonna say, I think. So I'll take you so long for that. I'll probably be back when we go to the sports bar this evening. Um, tomorrow we're gonna do loads. Tomorrow we've got, I don't remember the names off by heart, but I've written a list of things to do. I know we're gonna go to the um, really popular thermal bath or spas. Um, so I'll take you along for that. And we're gonna go to a few more um, touristy places that I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'll bring you along too. Hello, so we've come to a sports bar, but they don't have the games that my boy, they don't have Man U and Chelsea on. And um, they've got like the Europa League on, whatever that is, I don't know. But got an Apple Spritz, guess how much this costs? £2.88 in English. That is just nuts. But yeah, we're gonna drink this. Don't know what will be next because obviously the game's not on that you wanted to watch. But I'll catch up with you all soon. We're home. Got some chicken and chips on the way home. It looked like a five guys. My boyfriend said it looks like Morley's. Don't know what Morley's is, but got a really nice cold Coke. I've really fancied a Coke for so long and like a freezing cold one. So I got one of those and I got, I'll show you, chicken and chips. This looks really, really nice. Um, I got a fire and I got a drumstick and I got loads of chips. So yeah. Mmm. Oh, lovely. I'm gonna eat this. I really want to watch some telly, but our telly only has Hungarian um, channel so we can't understand any of it but yeah what's the time half 10 i'm gonna sign off and be back tomorrow i have to come back this chicken oh mm, mm, mm. this chicken is i'm not even gonna lie probably one of the nicest bits of chicken i've ever eaten oh it's so nice it's full of flavor Oh, it's hot. Mm. Oh my god. I'm have to get this tomorrow. Good morning. So it's the next day now. Um, I'm actually in HM. Thought I'll have a little browse around the shops. And of course, I found a shopping centre, which is like a couple of minutes walk from where we're staying. Um, and of course, I found some things. I'm just in the changing room, about to try some things on. It's still pretty early, anyways. Um, and then today we're going to go to do a bit more sightseeing and we're going to go to the thermal baths and we're going to go on a river cruise which i think i've said about five times but i'm so excited so i'll take you along with us today but i just wanted to check in so basically i found some things i like i want to book another summer holiday because obviously this was like a seat i say another summer holiday i've not had a summer holiday yet but this is like a city break but i've just found some nice little tops. Oh, that's nice. I've got to get it in more than one colour because that's just me. I hope you can hear me. And I really like that one. And this one. I'm trying to add more colour to my wardrobe because I'm very plain Jane and then I love this one. But yeah, I'm going to try them on. Oh my god, the weather today is so lovely i'm just eating well i'm just about to eat a pita what is it called gyro Goro. i bought one from like a street and he asked me if i wanted it spicy and of course i do i'm just sitting on look like a really nice little balcony um and i'm just sitting oh my god oh, wow well done well done oh, made such a mess and then I'm gonna go out. It's such a nice day. I can't wait to go to the thermal baths. I'm literally so excited for that. Let's try. Let's see what it tastes like. I'm gonna have to go and get some tissue because I've made such a mess. Oh my god. That is so nice. Mmm. 
Oh my god, delicious. I'm gonna have to get another one before we go home. So I thought I'd quickly show you um, everything that I bought from H&M. I got quite a few things, you know, because I was working out like English money and it worked out so cheap. And I've got like five tops and a pair of trousers. And this is just the perfect reason now to book another holiday, okay? So I got this top, which was, doesn't say how much it was, but in euros it was 9 99 and it looks like that. It's really nice material. Can you see that? It's like, is it crochet? I really, really like it. Tried it on and it just fits so nice. I bought these trousers. I think I did show you these. And I got these in an extra small. I got that top in an extra small as well. These are just so nice. And they just remind me of like the perfect pair of beach trousers or like evening trousers with like a nice pair of sandals. One of those little crop tops I'm gonna show you. Then I've got this top, which I love it. This is probably my favorite top. It's such a nice one. And I've got that in an extra small as well and it just fits really, really nicely. I don't know why I'm turning around. But yeah, got that top, got this top. So it's like a halter neck. It ties up like around your neck there. And I really like this little bit. And just really nice colors. Like I never wear colors like this. I want to stop wearing black, white, say that I did buy black and white. Actually, I didn't buy, I didn't buy black. I did buy white. So I got this little top and I got this in an extra small. And then the last two, so me being me, I couldn't get in just one colour. So I got this lovely, oh no, I don't know what have I done? But one in green, one in chocolate brown, and they've joined together. What have I done? I think I did show this as well in a clip, but this really lovely green tie up top. And it's like, I've got a few backless things today. I really like backless stuff at the moment. So I got this in green and in chocolate brown, exactly the same. I just thought, really nice top. And yeah, that is my little haul. Gonna get ready now, I've got my shorts on because it's really, really nice weather. These are from Zara. And gonna go out to do some more exploring. So as I said, I'll take you along with us. So we've come to Fisherman's Bastion. It is so hot here. I'm gonna try and get some videos. It's massive. We've got ice cream as well. Um, I'm gonna do some videos. Ice cream. So, sorry. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, it's so big here. I'm gonna try and get some videos. But it's so so pretty, um, and there's such lovely views. So I definitely recommend coming to Fisherman's Bastion. So I'll show you a better view. So we've just bought tickets to go into the actual Fisherman's yeah. Bastion because you have to pay for it. Um, but our barcodes aren't working, so the lady's just gonna help us. But this is from upstairs. This bit's all free. And the views are really nice, but we're just waiting to go through there. So, view from the top, it is so stunning. Isn't it lovely? Oh, God. It's good. It's really nice up here. Um, and these were a thousand Hungarian um, pounds, whatever you want to call it, per person. So, and then you get to come all the way up and then you get to look over. Oh my God, I would definitely recommend to come here because the views are so, so lovely. I much prefer it, even though it's different to like St. Stephen's Basilica, obviously because that's a church, I definitely recommend coming here. It's really hot. I shouldn't. When? 100. For what? At the gym. Oh. It was 2,200. You gave me change. That's good. Guys, it's really hot. We just got Starbucks and it's really cooling me down. I never ever get Starbucks, but I come on to say, we just see someone get engaged. Yeah, just we just see someone propose to his partner. And it's so weird, because wasn't I just talking about that before? I was literally just saying that I see on someone's story, um, someone get engaged. And now we've just literally seen that. So that must be like a thing. I think that's just so lovely. But yeah, we're just by the castle. I'll show you some videos. It's such a lovely day today. So this is what the castle looks like. It's absolutely massive. It's so stunning. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend coming here. It's so big as well. There's so many nice places to walk around. And um, it's a really nice atmosphere. It's really lovely here. What are they doing? That's why I keep thinking, what are they doing? Because everyone's staring. We just come to Buddha Castle, I'll show you. We got the track, you don't have to, you can walk. So it's about a 10 minute walk from the Fisherman's Bastion to get here. We got the train up and um, it literally takes like a minute and it cost 2,000 Hungarian money for the boat pass to get return, I'll show you. So that's the train and it literally just starts from all the way down the bottom. And it comes up, it goes really slow. And then this is the view from 
Buddha castle, it's really lovely. And the weather's so nice. Yeah, I mean, I like so we're going back down and then we're gonna go back and then we're gonna go get changed because I wanna go to the thermal baths, which I'm so excited for. It's a perfect day for it as well. It's lovely, lovely and sunny. It is, it is actually a perfect day. Um, so we planned that really, really well. So yeah, I'll take you along to that as well. Thought I'd show you. I mean, you can't really see too much, but this is what it's like on the little train. I think it's worth doing, because otherwise you've got that steep, it's quite steep, isn't it, walk? Up. Yeah. yeah, it's quite a steep walk, so I definitely recommend getting the train. We have just arrived at the bath. I'll show you. It's really, really busy. It is about six o'clock, and it shuts at eight. Um, and I think it's about twelve euros each. Don't know about pounds. I don't know about Hungarian money. Um, but yeah, it's really, really busy. But I'll show you. So it looks like this. It's actually so big and spacious. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go in. I'm so excited. So, I'm in the spa, and honestly, I would really recommend coming in. It's so warm. It's, I think, it says, it's, yeah, it's 28 degrees, if I read that right. So, I have a 28 or 20. I think that might say 20, because that might be too hot, 28. Um, but it's really, really nice and peaceful, I'll show you. Oh, it's so nice. And there's a little hot air balloon that I've been looking at. We've been watching it for hours. Everywhere we go, it keeps popping up. But yeah, so, oh, it's totally the temperature. I know it is 28. It's 28 in the water. It's so hot. It shuts at 8 o'clock, so it shuts in an hour and a half. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend coming to a thermal spa. They've got loads in Hungary um, or Budapest. And yeah, it's so nice. Hello. So, we are just walking to get on the river cruise. And it looks so, everything looks so lovely and lit up. So, should be really lovely. Nice way to end the trip. I don't want to go home. This is our last night now, but I feel like we've literally done so many things. It's so lovely to see Budapest, and to be honest, I really, really enjoyed it. But yeah, I'll show you the river cruise. So, we're on the river cruise. I don't know if you can hear me. It's really loud um, and it's really dark. But you get a little lemonade. I'm going to show you the view, but we're actually sitting on the wrong, we're sitting on the rubbish side. The view's on the other side. It's a bit annoying. video um we're going home we're literally gonna leave in about half an hour just having something to eat um it is quarter to 11 I need to check out between well it's from 11 o'clock but she said like whenever we want but our flight's at 2 30 anyway so 11's perfect um so yeah gonna end this vlog here i really hope you enjoyed it i'm pretty sure i did show you everything that we did um so yeah hopefully you got a little idea about budapest if you've not been before i will add all of the things that we did in the description i'll try to put the prices if i can remember um but yeah, I hope you find this helpful. I definitely recommend doing all the things that we did go to see. Um, Stephen's Basilica, obviously, it depends what you like. If you're not really that interested in, I guess, like the church kind of things, I'd maybe just go from the outside. I'd definitely um, get the pay to get the lift to go up um, to get the view from the top of the basilica because that was honestly stunning um, that was the only thing I guess the church we kind of wasn't really that interested although it was stunning it depends I guess what you sort of what you're interested like but yeah nevertheless I hope you all enjoyed it please remember to subscribe give this video a little thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll see you all again in my next one bye